Hey, man. <laughs> are we live? We are. Oh, we I, was are. Waiting I, for the, I was waiting for some intro music. I had, to, I had, had to hit it. Had to hit it or we'd, we'd lose Facebook. Oh. Um, not that there's anybody on Facebook watching. Hopefully soon, though. Let's see. Are we here, everybody? Yeah, I got to get huh? the YouTube uh, chat back up here. I lost it. I see a lot of people watching this. Oop, I opened up a Hulk Hogan promo instead of uh, our video. <laughs> Did you... Oh, no. What you going to do, brother? All right. Here we go. 30. 25. I got to make a new. Uh, Can they hear us right now? Yeah. Oh, okay. We're, uh, we're live. You got to make a new what? Countdown? A new count. Uh, yeah. Five, four, three, two, huh. <laughs> That's the longest round of applause we've ever gotten. <laughs> hey, everybody. Hey, now. Hey. Hey, now. Hey, everybody. This is Johnny Bean and Jay Hannon. Hi, it's Friday night. Friday night. And that this is where we talk about Van Halen. And it's a very special day in Van Halen land today. Um, Wolfgang Van Halen, Mammoth WVH, released not one, but two new songs and a new music video. And we'll, we'll be talking about, about all that today and more. More? So, so uh, what, what? yeah. We're, we're going to talk about more than that? I was hoping this was going to be like an in and out. <laughs> you know, in and out. In and out burger. Oh, that sounds so good. Oh. That sounds so good, man. It's been 16 years, 15 years since I've had an in and out burger. It's been 15 days 15 since I've minutes. had an in and out burger. <laughs> Actually, that's almost true. I had one uh, over a week ago, a week and a yeah. half ago. I, I you know, had... we, we got we to gotta have some frozen, like put it into like suspended animation and ship it to me. Mm -hmm. On the other, on on the opposite coast, mm -hmm. uh, I'll probably do that. That'd be so good. I, th I think I think that can be done. Animal style. That's right. Two brain cells. Let's see. Where are we? It's March twenty sixth, twenty twenty one, eight twelve p.m. Eastern, five twelve Pacific, here in Santa Cruz, California. Hey now. Hey now, and we'd like to say hello to our executive producers here on YouTube. We got Charles Green, Joe Christian, Wayno, The Chad, Thomas Santiago, Music Therapy Laz, Susan Silvestri, Bent Tom, James Gum, Jarhead Rock, Frank Corcoran, Michael Smith, Frank, <laughs> Stephen <laughs> Franklin. <laughs> Dan Halen, John Moronic, Jim Roy Hawkins, Voodoo Child SJ, Mike Neese, and just moments ago, Still Mike, going, Michael. actually, no, Michael B., brand new. Oh. <laughs> All right, could, we could have been like Steve Carmichael and Michael B. <laughs> well, I just botched it up. <laughs> It's all good. Where are you? Are you still here? There you are. There you are. Michael B., thank you so much for joining, man. Hey, now. Supporting the channel, supporting the shows, 
There you are. I see you, man. Your name is, is in green now. You got a little guitar avatar next to your name. You're going to see all special extra content only available to channel members. There's a whole playlist. Uh, I do uh, uh, special videos for you guys. <laughs> Maybe I'll do one tomorrow. Ooh, ooh. Uh, yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, to become a channel member, click the join button. It's right below the 22 thumbs ups currently. Let's see if we can get to at least 100 thumbs by uh, by the end of this video. Live video. And as you've noticed, when you're a channel, when you're a channel member, you get a a fancy howdy hey now at the beginning and end of every episode. (laughs) You do. You do. There's all kinds of perks. Um, Just click that join button and and there's a a video that will auto auto play there, which is actually almost a year ago. It's been almost a year since the channel memberships here. You get special avatars like Steve Carmichael's putting in the chat there. Special avatars of, of us and and more. So so make sure to, to click that join button today. And what else? We're also live on Facebook, where if you'd like to support us over there, you got Facebook stars. Um, I did a little test yesterday. I went live uh, through StreamYard onto Facebook and then just Facebook itself. And how'd that go for you? And more people popped in when it was just through Facebook, like automatically, like all these people were there. Whereas the other way, you know, there was like two people. All right, I got to restart my computer. Uh, Tony's saying that I'm blurry. Okay. I'll be right back. <laughs> my apologies, everybody. <laughs> Jay Hannon, everybody. Don't worry, Tony. He was blurry before we started. Uh, what else? We got we got lights. If you'd like to help support these shows and and get a special, uh, uh, what do you call it? Special shout outs. Um, any any super chat changes the the color of my lights. So if you wanna if you wanna help out the show, help out the channel, and you want uh, your your comment or question highlighted, extra, extra special, uh, check that out, and it's automatic. It's automatic. And then what else? Real quickly, what what? Oh, there we go. Who who was that? I'm scrolling. Rick Green. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. I was like way, way up in the chat and I, I had to I had to scroll to see. Uh thank you so much, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Stephen Franklin. Thank you so much, man. And I, I had to hey. scroll to see. Uh... Yeah, that's better. Okay. That's really? better. That's, right, that's way better. That's way better. Jesus. Awesome. All right. Now you can see my nipples. <laughs> Man, did I, what did I miss? Man, I was just explaining that that uh, that it's going to be a great show, and and that Cameron Brown is here. I don't think you have to. You, hey, Cameron, I don't hey, think man. you really have to explain that everybody knows it's going to be a great show. I mean, shit, <laughs> you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Of course, of course. What else? Announcement wise, what else? What else am I forgetting? Oh, this is a podcast. Um, so you can actually, you can subscribe to, to, uh, the Johnny Bean podcast over on iHeartRadio, over on SoundCloud, Spotify, Stitcher, tune in Google podcasts, radio.com, uh, somewhere else, <laughs> somewhere else, go somewhere else and listen to this. I forget. I forget, but make sure, make sure, uh, you do that. If you'd like to, uh, to have this as a, a, a podcast. And I'm catching up. I'm really ca- trying to catch up on them um, because it, it takes, you know, it takes more time and 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 uh, and editing. I have to I have to edit 
some of the stuff. So where's the you know I I have to I have to include I have to include more f bombs. <laughs> well, you got you got to overdub them in. Yeah, yeah. So there's that, and then what else? I'm looking at my list here, which is from last week, but that's okay. Uh, what else? I think, I think, yeah, I think that's cool. So who do we have here? We got 84 watching us. Look at this. 1984. Man, do you want everybody to do say hello so I can read your name in the uh, in the thing? And I gotta turn my watch off. All right. Everybody say hello um, and say, let's see, instead of where you're from, uh, make something else up. What else could it be? Uh, uh, well, they're, they're saying where they're from. Oh, okay. I was going to say... Uh, <laughs> If you really want to, if, if you really want to see them, you ask where they're from, because that's that's when they say, "Hey, I'm from uh, Santa Cruz," and and then that's when the chat just fl you can't even keep up with it. All right, where I was going to try to think of something else. Um, where are you not from? There you go. <laughs> where? Um, Alrighty. Well, yeah. See, now we got some people that I can read their names. We got Andrew Saviors. We got our biggest fan ever, Black Salamis here. Uh, wow. Brendan Butt Cheeks is here. Bry the Sign Guy. Cameron Cameron Brown. Uh, Carol Hatcher. Crazy Cook. Six seventy eight. Da Bops. Fifty one fifty. David Cher. Fruitcake Tony. Jeannie says. Janice Lala. Johnny Bean. Kelly. Oh, Kelly. Nope. Somebody else just left. Um, what the hell? Kevin Coachell, right? Mm -hmm. I think. Linny Lou, Mark Gray, and Mary, and Mary. Uh, Michael B, your newest uh, channel member. Mr. Hellstorm 74, Music Therapy Laz, Miles Taylor, Nick Horton, Here's a Who, Nightbot, R2R3 Locking Nut, Renus Pinkle, Rick Green. Robert Richardson, Bobby, Sandra Picorni, O.O. Picorni, Stephen Franklin, Terry Williams, Thomas Santiago, <laughs> and I feel like I have two brain cells right now. <laughs> so, hey now, everybody. Hey now. Hey now. Welcome. Welcome. Browns fan has just joined us. Thanks for coming. Thanks for showing up. Hey, Brown man. Fan. Hey man, and Mike Neese. I'm wearing I'm wearing one of the Mike Neese uh, new Eddie Van Halen shirts that he sent. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, man. And I I was um I was at the at the the uh, the food store, I guess people call it. And and um I was about to leave, and and the the dude that that uh you know was I was gonna say checking me out, but that's they not parked, right. They parked your car. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he saw my shirt and, and it's pretty rare in Santa Cruz. You know, I don't see like, like it's very rare that I, I, I find other, other Van Halen fans around here. It's just not, I don't know. It's just the area, but he saw my shirt and he's like, wow, is that an old one? Is that an old shirt? You know, he was, he was looking at it and he's like, is that old? What are you, you trying know? to say? I wear old stuff. Cause it's like, you know, the old style, yep. you know, like the eighties or seventies, right? Seventies, uh, yeah, baseball. What do you, what do you call mm -hmm. these? You call, it has a name. Jer the Jersey. Baseball. Yeah. The three quarters of the baseball tee. Yeah. Yeah. The baseball tee. Yep. Those are cool. I like that. And, um, so anyway, he's like, is that an old shirt? And I'm like, nah, it's brand new. It's brand new. And then and then the, the dude's like, he's like, he's like, oh, I'm glad it's not David Lee Roth. <laughs> <laughs> you should have said, well, that's that would have been weird because it says Eddie Van Halen. Mm -hmm. Do you want to know something that I noticed though? Uh oh. Um on this shirt. What you can see Dave's assless chaps in the background or something? Yeah. It says Kramer on oh. this one. But the Eddie Van Halen Forever one, the Kramer. 
is airbrushed out the logo you can't read it so it's wow. interesting it's interesting how it's on this one and not not on the other one wow i don't know that's pretty cool i don't know so anyway shout out to whoever that was that said he liked my shirt today and then actually mike niece had had uh, had sent me a, a message through facebook and so i i had messaged him messaged him and said hey i'm wearing your shirt and i just you know some dude just thought it was cool and and thank you again man and yeah i bet it doesn't smell as good as the one i sent you <laughs> <laughs> Usually you get a new shirt, you wash it before you wear it. When Johnny, when I sent Johnny mine, he never washed it. <laughs> yeah. Or no, that, that the scent is just like burned in because even if I wash it now, I think you can still smell. You can still get out of here. I think so. Yeah. Jo Johnny doesn't use a pillowcase anymore. He wraps his pillow in that shirt. <laughs> 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 My friend on 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 Facebook, uh, Brad, um, he he, uh, he posted something. He posts like these funny memes and stuff. He posted something last week, and it was uh, I just released a new scent, but the the other people in the car didn't like it or, or weren't impressed or something. Oh god! Oh man! R two R three, yeah. Yeah, this does smell like speed stick. Yeah, the green, the green or the uh, brown. I I don't know. Oh. I'm, I'm I don't even know. <clears throat> so the so the new music video, the new yeah. uh, mammoth WVH music video. What'd you think? For I I thought, I mean the production was top notch. Mm -hmm. If you saw it, I mean the editing because. There's only one Wolfgang, but in the video, there's four. Well, there's four. and if you, if you count the engineer and the assistant, six, six, yeah. There's six. There's six Wolfgangs that run in fifty one fifty. Yep. And we're gonna assume everybody here. Uh, that's what we should ask them. Has everybody here in the chat seen the new music video to, yet today? Because there's gonna be spoilers. Don't worry. Have. We'll wait. <laughs> Hurry up and answer, will you? Has everybody seen it? It just dropped this morning. Brand new. Brand brand new uh, music video. And and like I said, there's two songs that, that was released. This one is called uh, uh, "Don't Back Down," right? Yeah. And then the other song is called "Think It Over." It was. Um, I didn't listen to that one yet. I didn't realize until. I was uh, unable to uh, to listen to it, that there was another one out. Mm -hmm. And yes, there is the new, well, what we think is the, well, sorry, what we know, what me and Johnny know is the, <laughs> the new 5150 amp. In the, but what we think is the new 5150 amp. Uh, I think it is because you, it you, is. Look, at, you look at it and you see – the, the the logo and yeah yeah so apparently this this video was filmed what was that a couple months ago a month ago a couple months when he released oh. the uh the 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 still mm -hmm. um uh so basically if you haven't seen it yet well i mean i'm we're gonna assume everybody that's it's watching not like it, it's like it was a movie or something like we can we can talk about a music video you know? Yeah, yeah. So, so basically, what happens is is Wolfgang, he walks into fifty one fifty to to record a song. He walks in the control room, and everybody at the studio is another Wolfgang. So he basically pe played the part of of six people in, in this in this uh, music video. <laughs> mm -hmm. The guy running the console, the guy on the computer. The guy, uh, uh, the the drummer, uh, the bass player, and then there's two guitar players. I think he's he, he's a singer. He's a singer guitar player. Then there's another Wolfgang guitar player, yep. and they're all named Wolf. So everybody he says hi to. Oh, hey Wolf. Oh hey Wolf. Hi Where's Wolf? Wolf. Where's yeah, Wolf? Who's, who's Wolf? <laughs> and then Wolf the drummer is late. Yeah. So he <laughs> so he shows up. Um. 
so yeah the production of the video is is, is great i mean it's seamless you yeah, know mm -hmm. um uh but some some of the uh the easter eggs for us nerds which nerds. I, I have some screen caps here let's see here's some pretty cool let's see we'll do this one first although this is actually the end of the video but we'll, we'll show we'll show this so that's actually a screen cap from the end of the video where where the uh where i guess he would be what the engineer mm-hmm is it the guy running yeah, the uh, he, the board? That's when he leaned over and was like, <clears throat> you know, I don't want to again spoil it, but he leans over and says something to the assistant who is himself as well. Mm -hmm. Well, we can just assume everybody has seen it because, okay. you know, basically what happens is at the end of the of the song, one of the wolves, one of the wolf gangs in the in the uh, in the studio, says, "Hey, how was that?" And and the, the Wolfgang behind the console is like, oh, it was great. It was perfect. But he, yeah. he was perfect. But then he turns to the, the wolf on, on the computer, and he's like, oh, that was horrible. Yeah, we're going to be able to fix that? He's like, oh, yeah, can we fix that? And the other Wolfgang is like rubbing his temples like, uh, yeah. You know? So it's uh, it's it's funny. It's it's uh, the, the, the production of the video is great. There, there's comedy. There's great music. And you get to see um, and, inside fifty one fifty a couple of glimpses, which is yes, nice. yes. And for us nerds, nerds, look at those guitars on the wall back there. Now I think I know what each of those are. Um, in the chat, let us know what what you think. You know those guitars from left to right. You see a, you see a seventy eight. You know, uh, and then you see a. Uh, uh, Frankenstein, uh, uh, what do you call it? The the replica, um, which I'm thinking is probably the one with the with the Wolfgang neck on it. And then next to that, you see a shark. And then from what you can see from the screen cap, that last one on the right is is a Rasta. Now here's my question. Okay. I don't know if you even know this, Jay. A friend of ours named Scott Smith gave Edward a Rasta replica that he had built on the 2015 tour. Oh. Now, is that Rasta? Is that Scott Smith's Rasta replica? Or is that possibly an EVH Rasta Stripe series that, that might be uh, coming out? That's a good question. And this is just... This is just uh, what do you call it? We're just guessing. Yeah. We're just guessing. What do you guys think in the chat? As far as as far as that, that Rasta. Um and you actually you see it in the very beginning of the video too, when when Wolf when when one of the wolves is walking into the studio, you see it right right behind him. Hey Alan, there's Alan. Hey man. What do you think, Alan? That 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 Rasta up there on the right do you think is that scott smith's or is that possibly one that like uh, a prototype for a stripe series um like i said you see it in the very beginning of the video maybe maybe i can get a better maybe i can grab a shot from the uh from the beginning of the video yeah actually i can here i'll do this Keith Michael says, I saw it, but I find it so odd that Wolf doesn't play a Wolf gang. He owns a guitar company and he won't play his own product. That's baffling. Great song, video. See, I, I understand that line of thinking, but at the same time, you know, if he would have played a Wolf gang in that video, everyone, well, not everyone, but a lot of people are like, oh, look, he's playing, a, you know, he's playing his dad's guitar. He wants to do something a little different, doesn't want to be, uh, you know, I, I get it. I understand, but I think uh, if he did, especially in a video like this, I don't know. It'd be like, uh, you know what I'm saying? I had I had a way to describe it, but now I can't. <laughs> um, I mean, I, I'd want to see him play, you know, every guitar in the studio I'd, I'd want to see him play. <laughs> you know, but at the same time, like, he's doing his own thing. He's, you know, he's not trying to be his dad and, and, 
you know, I get it because he had a Wolfgang base when he played in Van Halen, but this isn't Van Halen. Um, I'm sure he's going to play a Wolfgang eventually at some point. You'll see him with one, but, you know, it's just one of those things you, you know, I, 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 I understand why he did not. Mm hmm. I, I think, um, Actually, I, I just I just got another screen cap from the from the, the beginning of the of the video. Um, I mean, the thing is, he can play. He can play whatever whatever he wants. Um, I think I think it's cool that that he plays what he plays because it's 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 not what people would. Yeah, like you were saying, you know. Oh, you know. If if he played Wolfgang guitars and 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 tapped nonstop, you know that's what some people would would think, or that's a, that's probably what some people want. Yeah, why, like, why is he why isn't he playing like his dad? Why doesn't right. he have Al playing drums instead of you know himself? Like that's some people think like that. Mm -hmm. But he's doing his own thing. He wants to. He doesn't want to be known. Obviously, he has the Van Halen name. He's keeping the legacy alive and all that stuff, but. Mm -hmm. he, he, as far as his music goes he doesn't want to you know kind of like get himself in that and you know it makes sense mm -hmm. yeah yeah i i okay here's one last pitch i i think it's great oh wait oh, i've got, I've got to, I, I have to erase one um are we still showing that phone number for for your uh no oh. <laughs> <laughs> you can i mean you know <laughs> speaking of phone number you can text us right down below 415-952-3263 text us selfies while you're watching us text us pictures of your guitars um text us uh you know cool Jug. stuff jugs <laughs> If you have any jugs of milk in your fridge send pictures of them yeah um i think i think it's great that he that he he's playing you know the instruments that he's playing because they're they're not um i they're they're not i don't know they're it, it's stuff that i like you know he's playing that fender it's like uh what the john biel what is it called? The the Fender the Star is it a Starcaster. Do you know? It's it's like a it's like a hollow body. Somebody in the chat has to know what I'm talking about. I, I don't um, know. I'm not really into those things. It's not. It's not. I, lo thing. I love them. It's not. It's not fluorescent it. enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't almost glow in the dark. I, I won't play it. Miles Taylor, Starcaster. <laughs> Robot Master Switch, Starcaster. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. I love those guitars. I love I love the the hollow body, you know, 335-ish, you know, the bigger, bigger guitars. Brendan B squared. Thank you, man. I, I love those things. I think it's great that that he's playing, you know, what he's playing. And and you know, like with this video, you know, with with you know, shots inside 5150 with with uh you know, Easter eggs. Like, here's here's another shot here. Well, not Easter eggs, but you know, for us nerds, nerds. To, to to see, you know, Edwards, you know, guitars. You know, this. I think this is just the be the beginning of 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 more more awesome uh, stuff. You know, for us for us Van Halen fans, for for fans of of Mammoth WVH. There you go. Oh, <laughs> somebody sent that. Somebody sent jugs. <laughs> Thank you. For it's actually Cameron Brown sent that. So that's Scotland <laughs> milk right there. Oh man, nice jugs, Cameron. Oh, I can't even drink milk. My 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 stomach hurts just looking at that. Oh he my said, god. He said we asked for the pictures of milk jugs right as soon as he was making a a cup of tea. Oh, cool, cool. Um. Yeah. So here's that that other screen cap. This is him walking into the studio in the, in the beginning, you know. So up above there you see that 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 Rasta. Yeah. And again, I don't 
What do you guys think in the chat? Is that is that the Scott Smith roster, or is that maybe an EVH like prototype? And then I can't tell what that is down. Is that? Uh, I think that's another Frankenstein. I think one of the uh, the Super Seventy Eights. I think they called them or the Seventy Eight. Yeah, I mean, you know, you mentioned well, not you, but you know, oh, he's not playing, and I, I don't mean to take it, you know, to make whatever because i i understand that that way of thinking i, I want to see him play this stuff too but he's showing those guitars the, the guitars are in there you know what i mean so it's not like he's completely avoiding anything with that he's got them mm -hmm. in there they, they know what angles they're using they know the way the lights are going to hit and show those guitars so you know i think that's cool you know play what you want to play and you know, I thought of this before as well as like, I think when, when he goes on the road, I wouldn't be saying, I'd like to see this, but I wouldn't be surprised if maybe for one song, he plays one of his dad's guitars. You know what I mean? I could see something like that. Mm -hmm. I think that would be kind of cool. Mm -hmm. But as far as him, like always playing like an EVH brand, guitar, branded guitar or bass, you know, play what you want to play. Mm -hmm. That's that's one thing I, I like. I said I think I think is cool because that's his that's his company now. You know, he's running that, um, and a lot of the stuff you know is is in the works for at least a couple few years. You know, I took a tour of VVH and I I I saw stuff that didn't come out till two years later. You know, yeah. um. So I'm sure possibly this this summer Nam coming up. Summer uh, Nam next Nam. next Nam or just not even the not even the, the, the well, you know, just the, the future of, of EVH gear. Um I I think we're gonna see a lot of lot of cool stuff. Um but I but for, for somebody that you know that's his company, so it's cool that he that he you know he can play Gibson. I think one of the wolves is playing a Gibson in that video, you know? Yeah. Um, and then, yeah. And it looks like there might be a new amplifier. You know, we, we talked about this a while back when we first saw the, the, the picture. Um, but, and then this, this other, this other screen cap here, you know? Yeah. You, you see, Kind of dark, but I, I think I think that's a, a stealth, mm -hmm. a stealth, um, and then that that that's the PV that says fifty one fifty. That was Edward's main guitar for the Van Halen three uh, era. Yeah, see, that's cool. He's leaving that stuff up. You know, if it was all about him selling, you know, EVH gu uh, guitars. You know that wouldn't be up there. They wouldn't use the other stuff in the. So I, I give I give him more more credit and more respect that he's playing what he wants to play. Not worried about that. You know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. That that's so cool. And then and then next to the PV fifth one fifty. That's a. Uh, I think I think originally those were called the 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 Wolfgang um, the the custom LT. Is what they were called. That's possibly the one that I that I played at Nam uh, several years back, back in twenty thirteen, I think it was. Edward was there the day before, and he was checking it out. And then I got I got to play it the next day. That's so that's possibly that same guitar. Maybe you haven't, you haven't washed your hands since, right? No, no, they smell. <laughs> um. <laughs> And then you got the uh, what looks like uh, Edwards, uh, possibly his main guitar from 2015, possibly. Sure um, it is. And then that last one there in the chat. What's that last guitar there on the right? Or Jay Hannon? What's that last guitar there on the right? Don't, no, what's... don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. For, first one in the chat, I guess the name of that wins. Uh... Win, wins my spot on the show. <laughs> <laughs> there we go six strings and ten fingers there you go that's it how rude yeah yeah that's 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 what's known as the, as the rude 
and, and that's um that's uh that was a uh, uh, a main either a main or a backup guitar during the fair warning tour um and then that guitar it was taken apart we did see it as just the body back in 19 for that that MTV Chris Connolly you know uh clip that we uh us, so that we saw a while back um but it was repaired it, it was put back together chip ellis put the guitar back together um i think right before the all the stripe series guitars came out 2012 ish hey, where's and it? what is, what's lenny lou saying the evh music man on the far far right is my screen too dark or something? I don't see shit. <laughs> can you see? Can... Oh, oh yeah, there is another guitar there. Yeah. If, if oh, you... I see the pickup. I see the white. I... Yeah. I have to stand up to see this. <laughs> what? Um... What? So you, what? You look. You're watching with your. Uh... Never mind. <laughs> um... Oh, and there's there's a. Uh... It looks like uh, like a viol. Is that a violin uh, bass there on the like a Hagstrom or something all the way on the left? Now all of a sudden I can see other stuff. Lenny Lou, woohoo! Lenny Lou and Mary. They must have their brightness like bump. Their yeah, brightness is on eleven. Yeah, that looks like a Music Man over there on the. Uh... Yeah, because from where I'm sitting, those two guitars on the on the on the ends are just you can't see them. Yeah. <laughs> Wayno wants to know who's sitting behind the monitor or behind the behind the desk. It's it's Wolf. That's Wolf. And then next to him is Wolf. And then the, the guy that walked in is Wolf. And then <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, man. Yeah. I, I I this was a this was a great video for for yeah. um for for you know for for his next release i i think i i think i think it was a lot of fun and i'm i'm really, really looking forward to 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 the next you know everything wolfgang if you're watching this man we love you dude and keep keep doing your thing man and we'll continue continue to to support you and 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 rock out with your guitar out <laughs> <laughs> um so the the bops 5150 wants to know if i've done any mods to my frankie yet i have not i have this from rob johnson <laughs> i still haven't i still haven't put that on yet um i have the the dog clasps the the you know the evh whatever the hell they're called i can't find them uh -oh. i can't find the friggin things um you know, I, I want to take the uh, that plate. Can you see it between the uh, block? Yeah, that extra plate that Adam always throws away. I, I want to take that off to, because the action's super high right now. Still, I really, I literally tuned this thing up. I put, I tuned it. I I put ten to forty sixes on there, and mm -hmm. I tuned it a half step down. And it's probably way out of time. I only have these. I haven't even locked these yet. Ready for this? Oh, perfect. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, the things do feel great. Like I, I dig the the feel of this neck and everything. Um I would love to hook the neck pickup yeah. up like uh like Adam describes and explains how to do and all that. Do a push push or something, you know? Mm -hmm. I think that'd be kind of neat. Mm -hmm. Oh, this feels the low friction feels so great. And then, you know, depending on the tuning stability with the bridge, I'll, I'll probably just leave this for now. And then if I ever play it extensively, I will uh, maybe put a uh, a German Floyd on. But, you know, I didn't even order a brass block for it or anything. So literally nothing. I've done nothing to this guitar except for change the strings and tune it down a half step. Well, almost tune it. But, I mean, it, does, it feels like super broken in. The neck feels amazing on this thing. Mm -hmm. So I, yeah. I definitely recommend if you're on the fence about buying one of these, because you're like, how could a guitar that is this be as inexpensive as it is? 
And I'm just talking about as far as what you get for the price. I mean, obviously, you know, 17 or whatever, 1800 bucks is not cheap. But for what this guitar is, I mean, they did a awesome job in, in getting this thing at a pro for what what it looks like and how it feels and how it plays at the price point it's at it's it's almost like how the hell did they do that you know the detail and obviously you know uh there's guys out there Caleb you know stripes in the wrong spot or something and you know but guys like me that aren't super duper uh nerdy with this type of stuff it's great <laughs> it really is you can't you can't go wrong with this guitar so no nope. if you're on the fence do it if you're not on the fence get your ass over the fence so yeah there you go mm -hmm. it's amazing. yeah they're great they're great i played a couple of them at, at the nam show um uh i i i keep um thinking every time well uh it's been a couple months since i went into guitar center uh any guitar centers i think but particularly the one on stevens creek boulevard in san jose, in san jose um i'm thinking i i need to hit that place up because i could walk in there and they could have one of those just sitting in there you know and and i could like play it <laughs> make a bunch of videos with it you know yeah. <laughs> crazy cook 678 says if they had it in a lefty i would get it you know what man you know obviously my buddy uh oj from byzantine he's a left-handed guitar player and you know mm -hmm. i've I've, t I've talked about this with him on a, a couple occasions you know growing up when i started playing guitar you walk in Johnny, obviously, and everybody in here who's a right-handed guitarist looks up at the wall and they're like, oh my God, what do I play? What do I, what do I, like? when you're a lefty, you walk in and you find like the one or two left-handed guitar and you're pretty much stuck with like, well, I guess I have to play that one. The two you know? used guitars and it's either like, like that Hello Kitty guitar or an old acoustic with rusted strings. <laughs> yeah. No, dude, it's, 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 it's gotta suck. And I don't mean to rag on lefties, but that's, that really does have to suck. You're pretty much stuck with whatever they make, you know, it was usually, you know, guitar companies, especially back in the day. Now, I think more companies are making a few more options than lefties, but there's not many, uh, you know, so basically he's like, well, I guess I have to play this. So the reason I say that is because, or bring that up is because uh killian you know just turned a year old earlier this month but mm -hmm. you know like he's starting to like throw the ball around a little bit and he does it with both hands and i see him throwing with the left hand i'm like if you're gonna play guitar you cannot be left-handed <laughs> because you you're left with the slim pickings man you know <laughs> but is there anybody out there any guitar players who, when they first picked, maybe it was probably when they were uh, like younger, you know, but maybe they started playing or they felt like left handed was natural. But since they didn't have any left handed guitars, they forced themselves to play right handed. You know, I wonder. And if, if somebody that is a natural lefty actually became like super good at guitar, because I know sometimes you're doing something unnatural just because, you know, you want to play a certain way. Um, oh, so if it, someone that is a lefty, if they, they did start right-handed and if they're awesome now? Yes. Yeah. And I know everybody thinks they're awesome, but come on, let's, let's, you know, <laughs> let's be realistic for a sec. <laughs> ben Tom says he's left-handed and plays righty. Um, mm -hmm. now, and he's awesome. And he's awesome. So Tom, when did you start playing and did you force yourself to, uh, to play or did you just have a right-handed guitar and you're like well i guess i'll play right-handed i know with boxing a lot of guys um who are natural southpaws like a lefty they'll switch to orthodox stance because then their power is with that left hook you know what i mean that's the strongest the stronger natural hand and mm -hmm. that left hook is 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 deadly 
Um, so like like Ty Mike Tyson, for instance, I don't want to get into a boxing thing, but Mike Tyson was a natural lefty, and uh, his left hand was was a uh, yeah whatever. He said, "12 years old, only right-handed guitars available, so that's why he played uh, righty." Now, after you started playing, did you ever like play a left-handed guitar after that? And you're like, "Son of a bitch, this is so easy." Or does now right-handed feel natural for you? That's a good question. Well, Tom. <laughs> well, Tom. Wait, wait. So you're left. You're left-handed, right? So if you were to pick up a left-handed guitar, can you automatically just play? Like all, like, yeah, like you know what I mean? Right. There's a feel of right when it's sitting that way because if I take a guitar and I do this, it's like I don't even know where to put my my elbow or my like. Look at this. I'm I'm resting my elbow on the guitar and I'm like try. I'm picking up here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Are you left-handed though? No, I do I do like one thing left-handed, and we don't have to talk about that on here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I bat. I bat left-handed. Oh, yeah. There you go. I throw righty, bat lefty. That's like that's it. That's the only thing left-handed that I do. <laughs> I'm really good at, at making my left hand in the shape of a tube. <laughs> <laughs> I like to sit on my hand for hours <laughs> and get it numb, so it feels like someone else. Uh, like, for instance, you know, playing sports all my life, like throwing righties, obviously very natural. But if I get out there and I try to throw with my left hand, it's like, you know, like that, that stuff, the elbow first. Uh-huh. <laughs> Go long, boys. <laughs> <laughs> we, is anybody answering the questions? Because I feel like now I'm just. Uh, I don't know. Losing it. <laughs> but so so bent tom or whoever whoever is left-handed but plays right-handed now if you were to go and pick up a left-handed guitar can you automatically just like shred you oh, know what i mean ripping it up like like it is like you've trained all this time to do it this other way and you're good but then you go back to the way you didn't train but how you naturally should be doing it can you actually is it like you know what i mean yeah, yeah. If you if you played a left-handed guitar and you're like, oh man, I want to, I'm going to start playing lefty now because this feels better. The, the stranger mm -hmm. that's called. <laughs> Joe, Joe <laughs> <Castor. laughs> the stranger. <laughs> oh, that's too good. Um, de destroyer. That should have been D. Snyder's stage name, Destroyer. Uh, I'm a lefty, 50 years. My 20-year-old tried righty, but likes lefty better. We just build our own guitars now. So Yeah, so there you go, man. If you're building your own guitars, you know. And Ben Tom says, I hate left-handed guitars. They don't look right. Yeah, you just play in the mirror then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I got a... I think I got on OJ's not his nerves because he he has a he knows I'm Simpson. Yeah. Oh, imagine, imagine. Be careful. Watch out for that white Bronco <laughs> pulling up. Don't get on his nerves. Yeah. Uh, you know, because he's a lefty, and whenever I, I don't know how many times I've done it to him, like, dude, you're holding the guitar backwards. What's up? What are you doing? You know, why is <laughs> why is your guitar backwards? And it got to the point now where he doesn't even acknowledge when I say it to him. You know, like, yeah, all right, Jack. Mm -hmm. Funny. No <laughs> funny. Hey, Pascal. Good to see you, man. Hey, now. Pascal from France is here. Hey, There's man. a righty. He's a righty. Naked ladies dance. <laughs> He's a righty. Righty, tidy, lefty, Lucy. Mm-hmm. Should I do an unboxing oh. in a few minutes? Sure. I forgot about that. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I, I didn't go by the post office today. No, yeah, I did. It was just, it was, it was just a um, uh, Ace Rewards, uh, you know, the hardware store. They send you five dollars off. You get these little five dollars off coupons. You know, five dollars off when you spend five hundred dollars or more, shit like that. Yeah, yeah, I know. Right, Ned? Look at this. Ned's here. Ned's been been taking a nap. You know. He, he, look at that. He's a lefty. 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why are you guys not stuffing your faces with kernels? Robot master switch. <laughs> I'm all I, I'm all out. I'm all out too, man. I don't have any. Oh, man, I know. Well, Ben that. Tom is saying you got six ounces today for free. Six ounces of what? Are we talking popcorn? Or are we talking something else? What are we? Uh... <laughs> I got six kilos today for free, man. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Uh, you can flip over riding and play D D is saying, and Hey, people are, people are sending us pictures. Look at what pictures. the hell. Oh, I thought it was a hole in his guitar. I'm like, you know, I know about the monkey grip, but I don't know about the no, freaking glory hole in the guitar. Oh, okay. Oh, look at that. You can even, you can see him. You can see him in the reflection, taking the picture. Uh oh, Uh oh, be careful now. <laughs> there we are. Yeah. Hey, that's us. Are we on? Are we live? Yeah. Oh, it says live, so I guess we are. We are. Well, that live is burned into the thing. It's it's always going to say live. <laughs> Let's see. We got that. We got um... <laughs> the gl glory hole guitar. I thought it was a hole in it, man. I really did. <laughs> Somebody sent us a, a uh, Charlie. What's up, man? Look what Charlie's here. A picture of their of their Frankenstein uh, guitar. Yeah. Hey, Charlie. Hey, dude. Charlie, you see the new Wolfgang music video today? That better not be a uh, a big drink on the side of his amp. Mm -mm. What is it? A candle? Did you make that? What is it? A flashlight? What, what's sitting there? It's a candle. It's a candle, but it's it's Eddie. Oh wow! What the? Oh wow! Look at that, dude! Did you make that? Revolution wow. is my name. Uh, saw that he says, uh, "Is that an EVH candle?" And look at that! Wow! And then I'm assuming this. Is this is a guitar that you wait. wait? You made you made this one, right? Actually, it looks it looks like um looks like one of the other stripe series, but like like relic, really relic, and like the pickups put in and stuff. I don't know. I don't think the neck is dark enough to be one of the uh, EVH ones. No, no, it's not. <laughs> And then, oh, so, wait, is that the back of your guitar? Okay, so it looks like we do have a lefty watching us. That's a left-handed guitar right there. Um, I don't know. Is that Raider's blanket or towel? Is that backwards? Oh, oh yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, so unless you got a... a okay, so that's right-handed then, but it's backwards. Yeah. Unless, the, unless the, 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 the blanket's upside down. Oh, unless it's flipped. Okay. We got to get to the bottom Wait, of this. It is left-handed because the it says Seymour Duncan pickup. You can read it. So oh, that, yeah. is, that is left-handed. Oh, it was blurry. Don't worry about it. Oh, somebody just commented on, on a video on Facebook. That's fine. Oh. So that is left-handed. So we do have a left-handed person watching us. So there must be a joke. It says Fruitcake Tony says, Jay, you know how to tell if a dude is right or a left hand dominant. What's the punchline? Because I know, like, if you, what if you like hold your your hand out or your finger out or something, and you blink with each eye. Whatever one your eye, like the finger doesn't move, that's the eye that you're like dominant with, like. You know, so I'm right eye dominant, which is good because for baseball players, not that I'm a baseball player, but if you're up to bat, the eye that's closest to the pitcher, what do you? Neither. What do you <laughs> no do? What, what do you do? You hold you hold this straight in front. Yeah, I think you hold it straight in front in front and you focus on it. I can't believe we're doing this on the air, but it's whatever. Everybody I, I bet everybody else is doing this shit right now too. 
And then whatever I, you blink and the finger doesn't move. I think that's it. Neither one moves. Well, then you're no eye dominant. Good thing you don't play sports. <laughs> I, I don't like sports. I know. I'm <laughs> <laughs> Even though I wore the sports jersey. Thank you the again. Thank you again, Mike Neese. Wait, you guys are sending me pictures. Look at this. <laughs> you guys are sending pictures here. Oh, yeah. It's a trick for lining up a, a gun sight. Figures out which, which eye you're dominant with. Yep. Just want to send this king size stripe quilt my grandmother made me. Also made me a black and white and yellow and black. My grandma is pretty awesome. Wow. Who is who sent this? Unless you put your name. I don't know who these are, but there's somebody's grandma made them this. Whoa. Did your grandma awesome. make me that too? That's awesome, man. Does your grandma want my address? <laughs> That'd make, make an awesome, uh, what do you call it? Screen saver mm -hmm. you know very cool wow yeah and again all all these um pictures that are being sent in uh uh via that phone number down there um i will share them throughout the week on twitter as fleets and instagram stories johnny bean and evh gear live which is my evh fan Instagram account. What is a fleet again? A fleet is is like a it's like a story it's like a, a story but on Twitter. Oh, so if okay. if you go to Twitter, you'll see like like story type, you know. Well, yeah, things. When you go to share like a Twitter post, an option pops up share as fleet, and I've never touched it because I have no idea what it was. I thought it meant like you can share it to multiple people at the same time instead of just sending it. Like if you want to send it to one, yeah, whatever. It's a story. Okay. So so it's like it's like a, a Snapchat story or an Instagram story. Oh, look at this man. Who's is this? Jay Jay's gonna Jay's gonna dig this one. Oh oh, wait a minute now. Did Steve I draw on that thing? Who is that? Are they why are they in the chat right now? Is this is this Steve? <laughs> <laughs> Wayno, hey now, hey Wayno, thanks for um sharing. Wayno, he was I guess in his car today, had on liquid metal. Oh look at that, sunset uh sunset orange uh super chat. Yeah, look at that, Wayno. Thank thank you so much, man. But Wayno posted a uh, clip of uh, from his LCD screen or whatever in his car. Left handed, serious, serious liquid metal playing uh, the Gizmachi track. Look what I've become, which was cool. They're still they're still playing it, man. I'm I'm very surprised. I wasn't really, uh, you know. So every day. Oh right? well, yeah, it's about two at least two times a day. The weekends not as much because they do more. Uh, like they have different hosts and they have like a lot of covers hours, like this hour we're doing all dedicated to covers and stuff like that. But during the week it's in regular rotation, man, which is pretty surprising. That's great. And do you, do you know when it is? Yeah. There's a website, an XM playlist website. Paul can explain all this, how it works because they have to give proof so that the bands get paid and all that stuff, which is like, what is it? Zero point zero zero one cents or something per stream or I, I don't know how it's figured out but it's it's pretty terrible <laughs> alex i love alex i gotta show it <laughs> um robot master switch said oh robot master switch said they played gizmachi just before tuesday's show tuesday that's right I, I, I saw i saw that i saw that in the chat yeah Yes, and Wayno, thank you very much for uh, for bugging Jose and, and Sean from uh, Liquid Metal as well. They they see that stuff, and it it does make a difference. <laughs> Obviously, the phone number that Johnny was putting out <laughs> and that we were sharing didn't make a difference. 
but still, I appreciate everybody that that called and, and emailed or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Had my parents calling up. Hi, can you play Tom? I, I'm doing Mancuda now, but screw it. I always I always bust my parents' balls. Tom, what's the name of a Jason song again? <laughs> <laughs> Kath, I don't know. Uh, the CDs are on their way. They'll be here. They should have been here this week, but they're not. <clears throat> That's cool. Yeah. Oh, man. We're getting tons, tons of. Uh... Oh, Crazy Cook. Okay. That's yours. Crazy Cook 678. Yeah, that's that's your your left-handed that we were talking about. Right there, yeah. That is cool. Awesome, man. Hey, Johnny, Bry the Sign Guy says, I hear I hear that Sting gets a yearly royalty of seven hundred thousand dollars for every breath you take. <laughs> Could you imagine that shit? I'm sure he does. Oh my god. Could you he, imagine? Man. He lives in a castle. Yeah, so he probably does. <laughs> and that's one song. And obviously the royalties as well for that uh um shitty uh uh what the hell is that that rapper's name? Puff Daddy or P Puff, Diddy or Puff P Diddy. Shitty. P Diddy. They they did uh uh I'll be I'll be missing you. That's that ruined that song for me. Like every time, even if I'm on I scroll through the radio and the original song comes on. I have to turn it. I have to change it because I think of that stupid song and I think of, <laughs> of, of I think of P. Diddy's wow. stupid dance that he used to do to that. I'm like, oh my God. Jesus. Stop. Mm -hmm. Stop. And I know he had something to do with Biggie Small's uh passing. I, I, I know he did. Because think of it, nobody really heard of Puff Daddy before Biggie Smalls passed away. Am I right? You know? Uh, I'm sure he was involved in a lot of things. Some people, maybe on the inside, I, and fans of that stuff. I never heard of him until <laughs> until that happened. He made his career after that happened. I think he was in on it. <laughs> wow! Yeah, I think he was. I think he knew about it. Uh, I, I don't know. Maybe you know. So someday we'll we'll know. I'm glad I was a fan before that. So, you know, when I heard it, I'm like, oh, what's this? You know, I knew it was different. Um, yeah, here we go. See, these are these are the, the, the selfies being sent in. Oh, we, look at the Frankenstein playing Frankenstein playing the Frankenstein. That's awesome. Yeah. Awesome, man. That's a really cool shirt. I want to get that. <laughs> That's the shit, man. <laughs> Whoever thought of that? <laughs> oh, what am I doing? <laughs> uh -oh. oh, snap. Thanks, Keith. Uh, oh, hey, doing? John Biel. Is he in here? He is in here. There he is. Hey, man. John Biel, I know we'll talk about this tomorrow night. I mean, I know. But John Biel, what would you think of the new music video, man? Do you even know what we're talking about? <laughs> Do you know what we're talking about? Somebody superimposed John Biel's face on the assistant that's in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> John Biel. And I know who I'm asking, too. <laughs> is Cobra Kai in here? Oh man. Well, you know, you know how they, they do those um deep deep fake. Yes. Right? Yep. You you can actually um like there's uh, you know uh really really Oh, you haven't seen it yet? What do you, you got to watch here? it, dude? You got to watch it, man. Um but there there's a uh, there's videos on TikTok of of Tom Cruise where it's like why is Tom Cruise making these videos but it's not him? Yeah, it's 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 like like really you know deep faked on onto him, dude. Onto his face. I think the the world it's going to end over stuff like that. Like 
you're going to you're going to be able to take like a, somebody you, you know and like put their face on somebody's or body that maybe they shouldn't be on and it's going to look real like that stuff I don't know what the hell is going to happen but I they've, they've made the ones where like Sylvester Stallone is the terminator in terminator 2 and stuff like that like the bar scene when mm-hmm. he goes in to get when he goes in naked and he gets the clothes you know um that they have the, that one it's stallone <laughs> and obviously you know when he turns his head in certain ways it'll, it'll glitch somebody put my but, face on that <laughs> <laughs> like th- that soon is going to be on you know i gotta get a new screensaver this thing is all getting all scratched up or screensaver what is this a phone what is case it? yeah yeah you know yeah no eventually technology will be so incredible where we'll be able to do things like this whoa <laughs> wow. how did Amazing. you do that um, technology man you see when when everybody becomes a channel member johnny can do stuff, stuff like that and completely <laughs> just I'm in amazement. Do it again. <laughs> Whoa! Amazing, huh? All right, now, now put the alien in your seat now. Put, oh, get him out of there. Well, I, you can do stuff like that. <laughs> oh. Yeah, Bozik says Jay eventually will look realistic enough where you can frame someone for yeah, that that's what I'm saying. It's you can really you're only it gets scary when when technology surpasses like, you know. Uh never mind. I don't want to get into this on here. Yeah. Tomorrow night. We can talk All about right. that tomorrow. We can get into that tomorrow night. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Rick Green, when you switched us, I was in California. Oh, that's right, huh? Because I'm I'm over here. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And you were you were in you, you were in my uh, room up here. I was over there. Right, Ned. We got Ned here. Come here, you. This guy's getting heavier. Ugh. Heavy metal. Good. Look at this. Look at those big big pads. I'm gonna pee and then I'll open this box. Okay. Okay. Hey, you. Hey, Ned. Hi. Say hey to everybody, Ned. Ned's here. Leave a thumbs up for Ned. He's the most amazing guy there is. And by the way, if you're brand new here, leave a thumbs up. We're up to 59. Um, and subscribe to the channel if, if you like, if you, if you dig this stuff. You know, Fridays, we talk about Van Halen, which uh, we talked about the new Wolfgang uh, uh, Mammoth WVH music video. We talked about that earlier already. Um, I've got a brand new Van Halen shirt. Thank you again to Mike Neese. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> and if you're brand new to this, um, we're, we also do a show Saturday nights that we call Straturday Night Live. And it'll look something... Actually, that's that's an older older card right there. I think these days it looks something... Uh, where is it? Something like this. Oh, man, I don't even see it. Well, there's another older one right there. Either way, we're live tomorrow night. Straturday Night Live is that show, and your host is John BL. <laughs> and you drag and... him down and put him on my no, don't don't do that. There he is. There he is. And by the way, we love Colonel's popcorn. That's our favorite popcorn ever. And if you would like to like to order some, uh well, I guess you have to order some. But if you want to get even more, like extra, extra, extra popcorn, make sure to mention Jay Hannon or Johnny Bean when ordering at colonelsgourmet.com. And as of right now, you get extra. He's 
I still got to get on them about a discount code for us, but you know, when they switched, they switched over their computer system about, I want to say a year ago and he hasn't set up anything like that yet. So, but they've been mm -hmm. so busy. That's the great thing. They've been so busy. It's great stuff too. It's amazing. Yes, it is. Wow. It is. Wow. Wow. What the hell? I got a, a message. And I know that somebody mentioned this in the chat when we were uh, on Saturday night. <laughs> but it's like I tuned in and uh, <laughs> to watch five guys sit here and eat popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I think it was Chad. It was, it was my buddy Chad. He like texted me because he watches the Saturday show on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Um. And he texted me and he said something like that. Like all of a sudden, out of nowhere, three of you were eating Colonel's pop popcorn, shoving your <laughs> shoving your faces. <laughs> it's awesome stuff. Oh man. Um oh yeah, CK uh asked twice before, and I I didn't uh have a chance to bring it up, but he asked where Butch is, Butch Jones. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't heard from Butch since Saturday afternoon. Mm -hmm. So you're, he was supposed to come on with us Saturday. So mm -hmm. your, your guess is as good as mine where Butch is. Mm -hmm. Well, he told me. But no, he I told you, but, but have you heard from him since? Uh... Yeah, I, th I think I have. Oh, okay. Just, just like I had a great time, thumbs up. No, I mean, um, since he told you that he wasn't going to be able to make Saturday's show. I think so. And I get like 100 messages a day, which is awesome. Johnny is so popular. Uh, Butch, Butch Jones. Uh, yeah. Yeah, sorry, I can't make it. I'm out of town. No worries, man. We'll do it again. He said absolutely. He said absolutely, and then I gave him a I gave him a thumbs up, and then yeah. Okay, so if maybe I'll reach out or Johnny, whatever, we'll see if uh if he wants to come on tomorrow night or next Saturday or whatever. Because mm -hmm. we have to uh, you know, get him and Caleb in the same uh on this at the same spot because. <laughs> We, you know what? We should save it, Johnny. I'll have popcorn shipped to us, and we won't have to Ooh. do shit for three oh. hours. It'll ju it'll just be Caleb so and Butch. We'll just Michael Jackson the whole time just eating popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds good. Oh, Joseph Joseph William sent me a, a picture here. I did a tribute to EVH and my brother. And my brother Bart brought good. That's why the be good. Oh, look! Look at this guy's tattoo. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> there you go. Awesome, man. That's pretty good. So it's Bart as as Marty McFly as as uh, Johnny. Be good. Right on, man. Yeah, so uh is this guy in New York City? What who? Me or Johnny? Well, you know Johnny's not. I'm I not. think he's at, asking if you are. No, thank God. I used to hate going to New York City. Oh. I don't get anxiety, and I used to get anxiety if I had to go to New York City. Because of traffic or parking traffic or... and people like too, I don't, I don't like too many people. Um, and obviously if you, if anybody's been to New York city or probably any big city for that matter, you know, one thing that that's kind of weird ever since the whole cell phone era <laughs> or generation, mm -hmm. I mean, you walk down the street and no one's looking up, everyone's looking down at their phones. Um, everyone's like disconnected from each other. They're connected through these things. We are, but as far mm -hmm. as, you know, it's just everybody. We're all we're disconnected. It's weird. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I don't like it. Yeah, but 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 I mean, 
20, 20 years ago though, man. Who would who would have thought, you know? I know. Who would have thought we'd be sitting here in front of a computer, you know, talking to people another, you know, we're at least, you know, a couple miles apart. And look at this. We've been talking real time, you know? Yep. That's why it's so weird when you finally meet like internet friends like this, you know, where you see them in person and, and they're like in a different place, you know? It's like going, it's like going to the store. It's like seeing, you know, it's like seeing your, your, your teacher, like somewhere else. Yeah. Like out of place. Like, you know, this looks weird. (laughs) And who knows, man, if, you know, when everybody, if I ever make it out to Nam, which I really want to, obviously, um, but who knows? I mean, maybe, maybe I'll meet everybody and, you know. That'll be it. <laughs> I'll never talk to you guys again. <laughs> oh, I met him, so that's enough. <laughs> mm-hmm. I know, I know the feeling. <laughs> <laughs> Wayno says, uh, I don't like, or, or seven over eight, I don't like too many people, says the dude that said his CBGB's gig sucked. No, I like a lot of people when they're there. <laughs> But not when I'm just like inside all of that. We like them when they're when they're there to see us. Yeah, yeah, because <laughs> you know I can get out of there. It's a different. It's a different. Uh, and I know he's just busting my balls, but it's just a different. Yeah. Uh, um, I don't know. I don't even know the word I'm trying to find. But obviously, different scenario and different thing. But yeah, I mean, when you're and Johnny will be able to relate to this. But in any anybody who's played gigs before. Or shows or whatever like when you're on stage like that's your that's that's my element like i i remember playing and it was just like you felt comfortable you were doing what you know something that you love to do and that mm-hmm. is you you know that, that's that's how i kind of looked at it and that's where you know and i know like you throw in the nervousness and stuff and excitement about going on that's different but once the show started and you're up there playing like there's no nowhere else I'd rather be than on that stage playing. Um, mm-hmm. So, I mean, if I go to a concert, Johnny, I don't want to be in the crowd. I want to, I want to stand where people aren't. Right. Yeah. I, I can understand that. Yeah. Or, you know, you'd stand, you, you know, you're, you're, you stand way in the back, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I know exactly. I know exactly. And I'll, I'll tell you a story once. Remind me once. Once we're we're done here, I'll tell you. I'll tell you a, a story about that. Okay. Well, well, I I hate also like when you go to a show, and Jeannie knows this more than anybody, obviously. But you know the the one or two drunk knuckleheads that are acting like it's 1980 again. You know, and it's like, oh my god! You know, they're bumping into people. They're standing in front. They're just being complete jerks, you know? And the last thing I want to do is when I go out is have like a confrontation with that type of stuff, like stay away, <laughs> you know? And then Jeannie gets all hot headed. And I'm like, Jeannie, you realize that when you say something, you're going to get me killed. I can handle my stuff. That's what, <laughs> that's what Jeannie says. I can handle myself. Well, Jeannie, you think I'm just going to stand back and let you fight somebody who's six, six, you know, like yeah. she's going to get me killed. <laughs> yeah i i, I could have gotten to it today with somebody with with like road rage um i was i was i was leaving the store and there was one of those you know those what do you call them brinks or you know the the big truck you know the the, the big money trucks oh yeah, yeah 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 yeah. okay they park right in front of like let's say the the 7-eleven and they block the entire lane so i had to drive in, on the left hand side to get past this truck. This motorcycle is driving right like towards me, doesn't slow down at all. And if, it's obvious I'm passing this truck. I had to be in that lane. And this is like in a parking lot. And and so this motorcycle is coming right towards me. And as he passes me, he's like, get the F out of the road. <laughs> and I yell, I yell at the window, F you. You know, the actual <laughs> words, right? And I'm like, please come after me. Please follow me. You know, but he didn't. Yeah, please follow me. Next thing you know, oh shit. You know, 
No, no, I'm I'm one of those people where I don't I don't want to get into it with anybody, but but if, if it happens, it's like bring it on, you know? And not that I'm gonna be fighting anybody, but you know, I'll I'll talk about them <laughs> on the internet. <laughs> Cause I can. Yeah, you know? but man, no, I don't know. I, just... one, once we move down here and somebody was asking, uh, I live in South Carolina. We live in South Carolina now, but um you know, driving in New York for forever, so I got my driver's license and stuff. Like, uh, oh yeah, um, you know, having to deal with that kind of traffic, and then when you move down here, when we moved down here, it was literally, you know, except for tourist season, it was kind of like empty roads. And I think I, I kind of got rid of a lot of that uh, that road rage that I had. Like it just it just slowly disappeared. And Jeannie still has it. You know how many times I'm like, if you give somebody the finger. People are packing down here, number one. When road rage kicks in, all bets are off. Like, people people lose their minds when they're driving. Johnny curses while driving. That just shows you that we, we're different people when we get mad and we're behind the wheel. I don't curse at all on these shows. I don't curse at all. In real life, and I'll, I'll, somebody's saying something here for me. I, I, don't, I don't swear. I don't swear. Um, let me just say, I swear all the time in real life. Every other word is F for me. But you guys don't see that side of me on these shows because I don't want to put that out on these things. But in real life, or like Jay, you'll see, like if we jump on and it's before or after a show, I'm like F this, S, you know. I I drop that stuff. But I don't do it on these shows because it's not, I don't want to put that out there, even though I'm saying now that I, I do. Um, but no, when I drive, it's, it's, it's swearing left and right, whether somebody's messing with me or not. It's like, it's like, get the F out of the way. You know, it's all the time. It's all the I, time. The best was my, like driving when I was a kid, being in the car with my father, who can, can man, he used to turn into a lunatic. <laughs> oh my God. I'm like, I'd be in the back seat or the passenger seat, like thinking I'm going to, I'm not going to make it home tonight. My dad, he would want to just catch up to people just to, you know, calling them, the, you, you know, the a-hole and you're an idiot and all this stuff. I'm like, oh, my God. And a lot of it, a lot of things that happen on the road, you know, nobody's, I mean, some people do shit intentionally. But sometimes, you know, a guy, you know, will just come out of a parking spot or come out of a, of a, of a you know, a, mm -hmm. a parking lot into the road. And next thing you got to slow down. It's like a lot of times they don't really – you know, like, I don't know. I just, I stopped getting super mad unless, you know, somebody's being a jerk to me. Yeah, you, you can't, you can't, you, you can't get worked up because all you're doing is, is you're hurting yourself when you do that. Yeah. And you go nuts. You're going nuts. The other guy, next thing you know, you get to a red light. You're like, yeah. And, and they're, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah you can't. You can't, but no, that guy today though, man, he's like, get the F out of the road. And, and, um, it's obvious I was passing this huge truck. Like I, I, I had to be in that lane, but thing is he wouldn't, he wasn't slowing down. That's why I'm like, why is this guy? He's like not slowing down coming towards me, you know? Mm -hmm. And then I heard him cause my window was down. He's like, get the F out of the way. And I'm like, F you. <laughs> and I'm like, come after me, dude. Come on. Come on. Oh, I'll turn my camera on and go live. You know? Is Jay an introvert? So um, what does that mean? He, he's asking if I'm one too, or if well, I'm what? introvert is like you're you're quiet. You kind of keep to yourself, especially in like social social situations. Um, I would say I'm more of an extrovert, but I don't like it's it's different. Once I'm I'm someplace and I get comfortable, I'm fine. You know, unless it's you know people being a bunch of jerks or something, but you know. I'm usually fine. Find somebody cool, whatever. Or if I'm with people that I know, I'm fine. But usually, I don't want to go. I don't want to go anywhere. Mm -hmm. Johnny, I can tell, he's definitely an introvert. So what? What's that? What does that mean again? Like, if you're at a party, you're not the guy that's, "Hey, everybody, so and so's <laughs> taking a shit." You know, like you're not, <laughs> you're not doing that type of thing. You're no, not, like, you're not mingling and, and, you know, 
having a no. you might be having a cocktail, but you're not like making the rounds and you know. Well, no. Before I started doing these types of shows, no, no. And go back several years on the channel here, and you'll see a totally different person doing doing these shows. Like I, I really had to had to uh, work work it up to do to do this stuff, this type of thing. And, and but well, it depends. Like you know, we go to Nam, and it's. It's different now. Like I, I, I'll go to Nam and and everybody's yapping, and I'll, you know, I, I, but, can, I can hang, I can hang but with Donnie. Them. But people know you at Nam now. But when you first started going and nobody knew who you yeah. were, I bet it was very kind of like you know, if if so, if I were to go back in time when you had no mm -hmm. idea who I was and just kind of tail you around Nam, I'd probably be like, look how different. You know, where's that you? picture? <laughs> Music therapy. Are you in here? Where's where's that picture, man? He took a picture of. <laughs> now I'm kind of worried. He uh -oh. took a picture of me at Nam before we knew each other. <laughs> oh, that's <cool. laughs> Where is it, dude? There's nothing wrong with being an introvert. Don't let anybody tell you that's weird or that's this or that. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Oh. Uh, I've got so many pictures. I'll never find it. He'll I'll never, never find it. I'll never find it. But yeah, he took a picture of me at at the at the EVH booth at, at well in front of it. Like so, so he was facing like Jackson, Michael. Yeah, yeah. And then like it's a picture of me like standing there. Oh, I'll never find it. See, I have a feeling that. When I meet Johnny, it, sorry, if if I meet Johnny, because I definitely pull back the reins on on here, you know, not that I'm some lunatic, some crazy person, mm -hmm. but I, you know, when I'm in a comfortable situation and I, and I know people, especially if I get to booze in a little bit, you know, I can be. Uh, that's what I'm saying. I don't usually want to go out. But if I do and I feel comfortable and I know people, then it's, it's you know, hooting and hollering, you know, mm -hmm. that type of stuff. Mm -hmm. So if you ever meet me, Johnny, or if we ever meet each other, um, you're probably like, damn, Jay's getting kind of loud right now. What the hell's going on? What the hell's going on here? I'm kind of scared. The gossip will, will just be insa insane, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> oh, let's do an unboxing shall we yeah let's do that let's do that and then i i gotta do a refill okay i'm like Argh. i'll cut and then slow. i've got something i've got a cool picture to show you guys something that i saved off and somebody tagged me in a picture on instagram um well my evh gear uh page i think let me make sure it's it's really cool Cool, bro. Maybe I'll do that right now. I'll I'll show that. Let me see. Where is it? Did, did they tag me? I think they did. Uh, no, they didn't. Well, then how did I see it? I don't know how I saw it. Anyway, let me let me let me show this. Really, really. Are you still here? Yeah. Check this out, man. This is pretty cool. Okay, this is a guy named uh I'm not sure what his name is, but I probably I'll I'll just show my my screen. I I should have I should have uploaded it. Look at this, man. Look look at this guitar. Oh, I saw that today on Facebook. You saw that? Yes. Oh, Johnny. So it's a double Double, that's like one of those double guitars. Well, yeah, it's just double because so it's got it's the 5150 Frankie, it's the 5150 on the top and the Frankenstein on the bottom. The Frankie one, Frankie, <laughs> look at Frankie that 150. There, 50, oh, there it is. 51 Frankie, what would you call it? 51 Frankie, the the Frankie 150, <laughs> the Frankie 150. <laughs> Very cool. Um, the guy's name, I'm not 
I'll I'll show his username. But man, that's awesome, man. If 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 you built that, oh no, oh, talk about it was blurry. Talk about one of a kind too, man. Right? Holy crap! Well, technically, it's two. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's two of a kind, but it's one. It's is that considered one guitar or two guitars? Like, can this guy actually say, I have got two Van Halen guitars or one Van Halen guitar? Nope, that's one guitar. Really? Yep. In the chat, is this one or two guitars? Well, it's two guitars into one. But if if you're if he's on stage jamming and he breaks one string on one of them, he can go to the other. That's two guitars. <laughs> All three right? strings, yeah. Man, there. I know it's blurry. I'll uh, I'll, I'll repost him on my on my EVH Gear Live uh, Instagram account. Um, fifty one, Frankie, <laughs> Frankie. <laughs> um. How would you want to have that top trim bar flopping around? Keith is saying. Oh, yeah. Is it is it in the way? Hmm. Yeah, that is kind of. It looks like that that top, the top bar would have to be tight. Otherwise, it would get in the way. It'd be, wouldn't it? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Of the bottom, like where your hand is, if if you're on the bridge on the Frankenstein part. Yep. Wow. <laughs> so, before I open this, I'm going to give a little backstory, real quick. Um, mm -hmm. Well, maybe not. Maybe I'll open it first and then explain. So, which one is it? Man, I'm, I'm trying to remember which one is which because I'm getting... Oh, okay. All right. So, here we go. I'm going to open this. Open it from the bottom. Why not? So that's the crazy mofo, the crazy mofo that I am. <laughs> Get my headset on. <laughs> I'm knocking stuff over here. So you'll notice. What the, what's that sticker? That's one of those F-spaced stickers. Maybe I don't want to show what's inside just in case my address is blazing. Okay, that's down in there. Let me make sure that what this is first before I tell you the wrong thing. <coughs> Oh, wow. Okay. Pretty cool. All right. So what this is, is a custom Chrome Boy Saturate pickup. Oh, man. Oh, good. I saw my Says name. And I was like, shit, is my address on there? It says something is missing. Well, that's the, uh, I'll explain why it's like that in a second, but let me, uh, F space with the Chrome caps because that's pretty cool. So the magnets are Chrome as well, you know? So what mm -hmm. happened was when I, when I got this guitar from Sweetwater, right? Mm -hmm. Um, they kind of customized it in a few ways obviously they put this wait you know what do i have that where's that box um should i should have brought that out too but anyway they put a sustainiac in here you know mm -hmm. they took out the uh satch track the chrome satch track that was in here and they actually sent that to me as well and then this is the uh mojo pickup 
which is the same pickup that's in the orange one. So I was like, well, you know, because they were like, well, we're going to replace this pickup for you because I don't know if you could tell it's it, there's there's a scuff mark on the pickup. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, above so that's the, that's the reason the why this guitar was was discounted. But it's not like they just gave me a discount and called it a day. They were like, because I was I mentioned something. I was like, you know, you know, the red one it has the the sustainiac, and they went crazy. They were like, we'll put a, a sustainiac in it with the Satriani mod, which has the three different types of harmonics, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. um, and then they're like, we'll replace the bridge pickup for you as well. I was like, well, is there any chance you could do the saturate? Because I already have the orange one with the with the mojo in it. And they're like, yeah, we'll do that. We'll order for you. And I was like, can I have the chrome magnets or the chrome poles as well? And they're like, yes. <laughs> I was like, okay. So long story short, they placed the order and here it is. So Sweetwater is awesome. Oh yeah, let me uh there it is. Look at that. Yeah, that's great. Yep. When did you order that? Oh god, it's it's been a while. Um, Does it usually take a while from them? Well, DeMarzio, they've been obviously with uh what's going on in the world, um their times as far as shipping times and all that stuff, um everything takes longer. But the, the fact that this was a custom pickup, you know, the only thing that's different is, is just the, the poles, you know, mm -hmm. but they were like, it's going to be, it's going to be a while before you get that. And I was like, I don't care, you know? Hmm. So, cause I, I ordered something from Sweetwater that was on pre-order. Yeah. They told me it would take a few weeks before they get it. I'm thinking now it's been like a couple months. What do you, what, what company, uh, what brand? Uh, Dunlop. What was? Can can you say what it is? Guitar picks. Guitar picks. <laughs> They're just down the street from me. I should just walk over there. Walk over. Give me my. <laughs> give me my pick. Dunlop is just across the bridge from me. I I should. I don't know if they'll let me in, but I should actually. Uh, actually, the next time I'm up, I'm up in Walnut Creek, actually, I'm not too far from them. I wonder if I go over there and, and knock on the door if they're like, hey. Well, Sweetwater usually is good. Like, uh, yeah, they, the guy was cool. The guy called me. Like, I placed my order. Then, like, later that day, like, 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 a couple hours later, this guy calls me up and he's like, Johnny, I'm your rep from from Sweetwater. And, and it's going to take, you know, three weeks before we get these things. But man, and he's, he was like being super nice. And I'm thinking about now that's, it's been a couple months. Since since uh, Did you get charged, said, I don't know. Oh, you got to find out if they have your money. <laughs> <laughs> usually, usually you don't get charged until something ships. I did it through PayPal. I well, guess it like wouldn't matter. It wouldn't matter anyway. I mean, Sweetwater is so good that uh, you know, they'd be fine. Like, dude, they didn't have to do all that with this guitar. For the mm -hmm. price I got this thing, which with literally the only thing wrong with it was the pickup had a scuff on it. You know what I mean? That's literally the price that they gave it for with a Sustainiac installed with the Satriani mod, which is extra as well. If you were to buy, yeah, keep, keep hitting it. Keep hitting it. And then, and then the custom order me a pickup out of their pocket. It's insane. It's insane. And <laughs> Fruitcake Tony says, am I going <laughs> to send the pickup back? <laughs> <laughs> no, but now now I got to get a guitar to put it in. You know? Oh. I was going to put it in that, but... There you go. I'm, uh... I don't know. Probably shouldn't be saying this on the air, should I? <laughs> they send me a pickup for the guitar and I'm not putting it in there? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was thinking about selling this one. Remember, I told you nobody nobody watches this. The story about this thing, selling mm -hmm. it to possibly get a a guitar <laughs> idol's guitar, you know. So we'll see. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> Dude, I had too much caffeine. I'll, you guys, I'll tell you guys a quick story. I know this has nothing to do with Van Halen. Although I'm wearing the shirt, so it counts. Okay. The only tea I had today was from tea that was left over from yesterday. In the in the in the I don't know what you call the, the the tea thing that you tip over, right? The kettle. So the kettle. Well, no, that's no, not a kettle. Teapot? It's you, yeah, the teapot. So, so I I I took a couple couple sips of of tea from yesterday, and yeah, the longer it sits there, the stronger it gets, right? Well, out of the tea bag, I mean, more comes out. So I I know what you're saying. I don't know. Anyway, if if I have like just the right amount of caffeine over over the right amount, I go crazy. <laughs> like like I I I like like panic attack will just right away. <laughs> Johnny, <laughs> both Cephas rules and rules. He starts yelling, <laughs> tearing his clothes off. Fun yeah, of but anyway, I almost had like a major panic attack today because I'm wearing the ma the mask. You know, you can't breathe. You're wearing these masks. I'm wearing shades. <laughs> you know, fogging up, fogging up, and then where I was, all of a sudden, you know, all of a sudden, like it hit me, and I, I had to keep myself, I had to keep under control, you know, of just not losing it and just full blown panic attack, you know. Yeah. Um, and then this is where the guy said to me, he's like, "Oh, cool shirt," you know, that's where that story came from. So that kind of made me feel better. Um, just snap but... at him, cool shirt. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Hey man. Yeah, John BL. You just you just watched you just watched what'd you think, man? I know we'll talk about this tomorrow. Um what's that last little riff at the very end? What V Oh that's a that's that's a question for the chat. The, okay, so the so the, uh, the 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 mammoth WVH uh uh don't back down uh music video, right? John Bale. What's the very last part of that song? What is that? What is that? That sounds like something else. Oh, I didn't that even you... notice it. There you go. <laughs> oh, okay. Miles Taylor was like was like first, like on all the questions today. The very, very end of, of So This Is Love. It is, is has a similar, similar part in this in this mammoth song. Yep. Well, Jesus repays me. Yeah. I'm not going to read it out loud. Um, says, let's see Johnny loaded on caffeine during a road rage incident. Hey, everybody that, that a paying subscriber to this channel, <laughs> you should request a, a day in the life of Johnny Bean where his wife is following him around, filming everything he does for that day. Oh. Almost like... Like do a ride or ride along or whatever as, as a Johnny. subscriber as a subscriber only video. Yep. I, I see what you're saying. Yeah. And then Actually, that, like have idea. it have it for like a month or whatever, a couple weeks as a subscriber only. But that's got to get released into the wild. A video like that. Are you kidding me? Oh, I'd I'd love to see it. Man. As Steve Anderson would say, it's gotta be done. <laughs> or it, okay, had, man. It, has, it has to be done. Maybe that maybe that should be done. And if you would like to see that, <laughs> yeah, I, I subscribe just for that. <laughs> become a channel member. Click the join button below. If you want to see me freak out on caffeine, yelling out the window on the freeways of of California, become a channel <laughs> member, and and you could possibly see that. <laughs> Come on. That's right. That's right, Lindy Lou and Mary. So you can screen cap and let Cobra Kai go nuts. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And Jay, did you did you did you see the uh <laughs> Cobra Kai's latest? No, I'm picturing this right now. And I don't even have to see a real video. I can I can, I can visualize the whole thing. Oh man, where is it? <laughs> you got to do it on on a day that Johnny has a show as well. Show him getting prepared for the show and everything. Oh, I'm so busy. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah. Oh man, I I thought I saved it. Did you see it? The 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 Cobra Kai. He did the thing of, of me wearing the the Colonel's popcorn. No, I didn't see her on the head. <laughs> I, thought I, I thought I saved that. Really quick, really quick, and we're we're winding down. Okay, that would be under uh -oh. under. Uh, nope. <laughs> It'd be under Stratterday, I guess. Where is it? <laughs> How does he say it? Uh, Wayno says, Hey, Zeus, raps May. <laughs> Screaming and cursing at people in traffic, then does the Friday night show, Calm and Cool. <laughs> oh <laughs> oh you're a lefty oh no <laughs> no you gotta flip it i'm a lefty too <laughs> that's too good <laughs> i had said the other night i said something about me wearing a bucket on my head and playing and, and, and there you go there bucket you go. head it's funny dude bucket bean Cobra Kai, thank you for, for everything that you do, man. He's awesome. <laughs> uh, awesomes. <clears throat> um... podcast i'm trying what else should i do what else do you guys want to see i know we're gonna we're gonna end this video we're coming up on on the end of another uh talking van Halen, even though we haven't talked van Halen in the past uh hour and 46 minutes well we still got some guitar stuff and you know i'm wearing the shirt yeah yeah again check out the new mammoth wvh music video if you haven't john bill just saw it he thinks it's awesome um what else what else do you guys wanna basically i'm i'm like for the for the next food week review. food reviews yes review for yes okay yeah okay for the next week basically i'm i'm here it's just ned and myself so like yesterday i was I, I was live like three times yesterday <laughs> i was live on facebook a couple times actually at the same time two different cameras and then i went live last night music therapy last night went live for a little bit i and watched I, that. I have no memory of, of what that was but um i can't i can't remember what we were talking about but um but i'm thinking uh there'll be more you know there'll be more content um you know facebook um maybe well maybe tomorrow maybe for Saturday night we do three hours maybe the last hour we'll do some somewhere where we can play music and and we and we can talk fernando hey dude fernando thank you so much man fernando riley <clears throat> hey now long long time long time facebook fernando i think we go we go back to myspace you and me we go back to the myspace days of 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 uh of uh the police uh uh, groups <clears throat> you know we we're talking about how sting sting makes a million dollars a second um, <laughs> fernando thank you so much man 
channel membership. So when I go crazy and drive down the street with, you know, yelling stuff out the window, Fernando will get to watch that stuff because he's a channel member. <laughs> I was just going to say something. What the hell was it? Damn. Thank you, Keith. Oh, tomorrow we should do uh, two topics if we get around to it. I love the... Uh, but, you know, I don't want to get into a whole thing, but... Oh, I do. But we should do, first off, either we do overrated bands or an overrated band mm -hmm. and then overrated guitar player. I have my two lined up, ready to rock. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay. 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 So nobody give us theirs in the chat. Come back tomorrow night, and uh, let's let's get to let's get to rocking and arguing because I know people are going to be pissed at one of one of my one of my selections. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Penn. When's it, when's it going to change, Johnny? It did. It did. But th that's what's weird is some of the tears, it shows it. Like for me, I see it red and it goes to oh. red. On YouTube, it's orange. But for some oh, yeah, reason, <clears throat> for some reason in StreamYard, it's red and it goes to red. So it certain certain tears, it's it's. It still, I mean, it still works. It still does what it's supposed to do, but, but it's it's interesting how that how that works. I've I've noticed noticed that. Ben Tom says, "I will say Slash is my selection for most overrated guitar player." Well, I guess you got to wait and find out. Mm hmm. And I'll give you my um, you know, wet my let's see you know, why I'm thinking this way. It's not because somebody who people think is good isn't or not as good as they think. It's, I have a rhyme or reason behind it, maybe. But we'll see. It'll be fun. I know it's going to be, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Especially Paul. <laughs> mm -hmm. Underrated guitar players, that's a good one too. And underrated bands. But I think, you know, part of the, uh, you know, how it's got to be is is somebody or a band that, <laughs> well, we'll talk about this tomorrow. <laughs> we'll this tomorrow. Yeah. And Bozik, you know, a lot of that stuff is just staged anyway. I mean, open up TikTok. None of that stuff is real. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. I think we're done, right? No, it's another wow. three hours. I mean, technically it's time, but technically we started late, so it's. And I'm I, I'm kind of I'm literally kind of kind of out of it right now because I made the cardinal sin before this. I tried to take a nap twenty minutes before we were going live. Oh my gosh! Yeah, I was laying on the couch. I'm like, oh, just let me let me close my eyes for like five minutes. Give me five minutes, and I probably had about three minutes. And I woke up and knew I was like, I'm gonna be a fuddy duddy on this damn thing. Oh my gosh, that's the worst. There, there was a show years ago where I I got super tired, or I woke up like ten minutes till or something, and it was the worst feeling in the world. Like you're going live and you're out of it like that. Yeah, your brain still isn't caught up yet. And yes, we oh, do talk about Van Halen, CK. We talk about Van Halen on this channel the majority of the time. Give Every us, show we do. Yeah, give us a mulligan nothing. here. It's a Friday night. <laughs> like, you know, we talked about Wolfgang's video and Wolfgang. We talked about the Frankenstein, the Frankenstrat. We got some pickup stuff. You know, there's only... Yeah, I got a shirt. A shirt. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. I mean, we don't want, we don't want to look like weirdos, you know, that just talk about the same thing nonstop because we really don't. But but we're kind of, we're kind of known for 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 Van Halen uh, 
like we kind of I grew I grew I you know we we all grew up on Van Halen so so it's just stick around stick around tune in tune in tomorrow night tune in again and actually watch more videos on the channel here there's a there's playlists click on those different playlists and you you'll see um uh, You'll see years and years and years of Van Halen chats that we do. You'll see videos of me talking to Michael Anthony. You'll see me talking to uh, Sammy Hagar. You'll see all kinds of all kinds of stuff on the channel here. Um, and I, I run a, 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 a Facebook group that's getting bigger and bigger and crazier. Um, that that's all Van Halen. And if you're not a member. Make sure to uh, to join. Yeah, there it is. There it is, right there. It should be. Is that right? No, no, it's the wrong thing. Nightbot, hang on. That's the old one. Danny McMullen says, "What's Wait. with the Lucy shirt again? Did I wear this recently on here?" Yeah, I think you wore that last time. Oh, two Fridays, two Fridays in a row. <laughs> <laughs> This is my first time wearing this. Thank you again, Mike Nice. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Is that okay? That should be the right one. There we go. Everybody, join my Van Halen Facebook group, Van Halen 1974 to 2020. It's at least a thousand people a day are, are joining that. And I'm not kidding. And what is the what's the percentage of those people that, that Caleb gets mad at? <laughs> if you uh, want to see. If you want to see our, <laughs> our very own Caleb Rappaport lose his mind, just follow, <laughs> just follow him around. Shadow him on social media. <laughs> oh, yeah. We have a great time. Great time. All the time. All the time. All the time. Okay. All right. Actually, if we, if we go just another two and a half minutes, we'll be in even two hours as far as that. the as far as the timer. Um, thank you, CK. What happened? Thank you so much. Oh, I like that song. That's one of my favorites. Our cat puked twice. Come on, Wilson. <sighs> oh, I hope when the one. I hope your cat is feeling better. And number two. You got to put some of that on the guitar now, although Rob Johnson will get will get mad. What? He put cat puke on his guitar on his on his Rasta to replicate the puke that was in the actual guitar. Are you kidding me? No, that's true. <laughs> he admitted this. Yeah. <laughs> on, live. Yes. On the internet, he admitted that. Yeah, his oh. cat puked on his pedal board, so he scooped some of it up and he put it on his guitar. So he has dried cat puke on his guitar because the original uh, guitar has puke on it. Where's my where's my puke sound effect? Where the hell is that thing? That's disgusting. <laughs> it's true. That's that's going a little t- <laughs> a little too far, man. Oh, and then yeah, Ben Thompson. Then he clear coated over it. <laughs> Oh my goodness, Rob! Yeah, see, they see it. Yep, Rob Jones. <laughs> did did Eddie say that the original one was cat puke? No, I think I think Rob assumes it is because they they had cats. I don't know, Dude, John Biel. No, that that's maybe. Uh... I'll message Rob and we'll we'll figure we'll figure that out. Man, that's we'll, we'll that's insane. That, <laughs> that takes that that's a whole nother level, man. That's a whole nother level. <laughs> All right. All right, we're right at two hours. Um come back tomorrow night. Strarity night live with your host John BL. John Bull. John Bull. We'll be talking all kinds of Van Halen for you guys. We'll be talking everything. 
And uh, thank you, thank you, thank you to our channel members, including Michael B. and Fernando Riley, brand new channel members. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. You all are amazing. Um, we love all of you. Hey, Fernando Raleigh wants us to do a Wolfgang album release show. Well, the records or records, album, oh, when, whatever you when want it arrives, them, they come out on Fridays. So, you know, I'll definitely, I'll def, I'll definitely do an unboxing because uh, Music Therapy Laz ordered me the, the vinyl. Oh, no crap. Awesome. So I'll, I'll be getting the, the vinyl, even though I don't even have a record player. Um, but. <laughs> <Was he? laughs> oh my god you see this right here it's the original one there's something on eddie's guitar so all i did is the cat threw up and i said wait a minute wait a minute i can put that on the <laughs> <laughs> my god man <laughs> <laughs> Rob, Rob Johnson, everybody. Rob Johnson. Yeah, and it's, it's like this. It's like this. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right. Thank you so much, everybody, channel members. Uh, leave a thumbs up, you guys. We're at 75. We're at 75. Leave a thumbs up. Watch another video on the channel here. Um, I, I did a video last night. Uh, and uh, like I said, I'll be doing more stuff throughout the week. So look for look for at least a live video every day here. At least, at least one. Probably more. <clears throat> And uh, what else? <laughs> my mother-in-law, you're nuts. <laughs> what about my nuts? <laughs> oh, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> wow, well, I can't believe it's still light out here. Man. Um. All right, maybe I'll see you guys on Facebook later. Maybe I'll see you on my second channel here on, on YouTube. Um, make sure to follow me. Go to johnnybean.link. Follow me everywhere. Everything everything is right there. All the pictures hey, that were... Oh, that were, oh, wait a minute. Follow me too. Come on, man. Follow him. Yeah, follow that guy. Yeah. Right there. All the pictures that were texted to that number down there. And throughout the week, you can text us. Text all the time to this number. Anytime you want, day or night. Text pictures, you know, of, of the shows, of guitars, <laughs> of Lucy's. <laughs> something that rhymes with Lucy. A kind of rhyme. Never mind. And those pictures will be sent out on Twitter as fleets and Instagram stories. So, all right. I got to use the bathroom for real, and I need more, dr more drink because I'm uh, parched. And then I'm going to make dinner later. Maybe I'll maybe I'll go live on my second channel, Johnny Bean TV, uh, second channel on YouTube, and, and make dinner for you guys. I don't know. Ooh. Maybe, maybe, maybe. So so stick around. And yeah, request Gizmachi on liquid metal. Ben Tom, don't ask my mom if she or my mom, my mother in law, if she's uh, <laughs> get out of here, man. <laughs> she knows I'm going to be. <laughs> It's a given. Wow. Thank you, Wayno. All right. Good night, everybody. Charming TV. Bye. <laughs>